And I think that Numi is, um, if not one of the key main people that's been that influence there. I mean, his influence cannot be overstated. What we all want in life is to leave a legacy, a footprint for others to follow. And leave the two safeties he saw. Service head football coach Numi Alalio knows a thing or two about footprints. He is such a, a powerful leader, and he has to be. He was in combat. Combat not only on the field, but also in Afghanistan. It must have been, it must have been a tremendously difficult time um, for him to be away from uh, the game, doing something that's bigger than the game. It's bigger, bigger than any of us. Uh, uh, and he did it so we could play the game. I think that's the cool thing. You know, he did it for uh, you know, our freedom here in the United States. Tim Davis coached with Numi from 2005 to 2008 at Service High School. He even took over the reins while Olalio was overseas. But Davis says Numi's determination was best exonified by life after deployment. To come back and jump right in, to win a state championship as the coordinator over there um, this last season, to be competitive, to be in three state state championship games, that's, that's impressive stuff. Seniors, you'll be forever missed. What we all want in life is a lasting legacy. Even though he won't bear the title, players and fans can still call Numi coach. His legacy is going to be one of pushing the envelope. It's going to be one of being energetic. It's going to be one of loving kids. And it's going to be one of uh, being a catalyst for change. Defensive team. All right. Life goes on. Football is over for some of you guys. But life goes on. In no particular order. Take what you have learned from me. Representing West this Anchorage, program, Leroy Elliott. And use that as a vehicle for life. From I love Service every High single School, one of you guys. And thank you for giving me the honor to coach you this year. I love you.